Hello and welcome to episode 11 of my Creator First tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on exploring a new biome. Um, after I've dispatched this nighttime pigsy, I don't even know what he's doing here, it's not night. For goodness sake, I think he's a bit confused that night pigsy. Because it's 9.38 in the morning. Anyway, he's given a donation to uh, our goods. Okay, so in the last episode we looked, we unlocked uh, the teleports and I said to you, I wonder if these other slots in here are usable to place to other teleports so you could go through and select which one to go to, but no. Alas, if you put a second item in either of these it cancels out the first, so for each portal in your base you need to put the item where it's going to go back to. Um, so for example, okay, if we come out of this teleport so let's exit out of there because that one takes us to the beach. Um, I did some exploring, found a new biome and put a teleport down there. So what I've done is, in this one, I've put wildflowers. This biome is fantastic for getting wildflowers. So between them and the mushrooms, I'll have tons of healing potions. So in this teleportal, I just have that which takes me back to the new biome where we're going to go in a moment. And in the other teleport, I've left that as the main one, so you'll notice there's two, the number two up here. That means two of my teleports uh, are going to take me out of this one. Because what's the point in having any of the teleports bring me out there when this one's near the front door, near all my items, crafting stuff and the stairs. So I may as well, no matter what teleport I go through to get back to the base, come out on this one. Makes more sense, logical, eh? Uh, for the other teleports here, I'm just using them to get back to the other locations that I've been to. So let's step through this one and take a look at this biome that you can see in this actual screenshot. This is the biome that we're going to go to. And you can see there's loads of them flowers. This is where you gather flowers from this biome because there are tons of them. Okay, so now I've picked a few near this uh, teleport, but just to show you this teleport, if I right click, you'll see I put a flower as it's heading and the crag leaves down here to take me back to my base. Um, I could name it, but what's the point? So let's just go gather some more flowers because there are loads in this biome. So I don't know what you'd call this biome, but it has got new creatures in it. Um, which I'm going to try and show you as we explore. So there's this stuff. Let's have a look. What's that? Oh, it's shrub. And there's this savanna grass. Remember, when you unlock all of the, when you gather items, it unlocks new possible recipes. So it's always worth gathering a few bits and pieces from any new biomes you visit. Anyway, what I'd like to get from this biome, as well as explore, is a load more flowers. And as luck would have it, this biome is full of them. So that means loads of healing potions if I need them. Look at this, there's tons. Tons and tons of flowers. Oh, that's not a pigsy, is it? Oh no, that's a, a, a boss hog. And he is a boss. Oh, where's my potions? I'm glad he butted me backwards then. He is tough. There we go. Did he have anything nice on him? Oh, we got some boss hog tusk. I'm sure we're going to need them. So, we've now got some of that. Oh, what's this? Shrewd through and it set me on fire. And we get another unique item. Shrewd through's tail. And small savanna grass. So we might need that for a crafting recipe. The items we just got off them two creatures. At least we know now what biome to get them two items from if we need them for recipes. Ok, 
Okay, now someone mentioned in the comments, and thank you whoever it was, about roaming around hillsides of mountains. It's an easy way to find ores, and I totally agree with that. Um, Devil Dancer did mention it. He said he flies his glider over the mountains and finds ores very easily that way. Although I'm just happy picking flowers, just like the Johnny Cash song. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, once you find this biome, your healing potion, you'll have an abundance of healing potions. You can make as many as you need, even if you play as badly as me. And let's explore and see what else can be found here. So them Tuskers, we now know, are aggressive. The Shrews are not. As they say, we live and learn. Or in my case, we die and learn. So for this teleport, by the way, I went east. For the other teleport, I went west. So methinks I'm going to do a teleport to the north and a teleport to the south. All cardinal directions of the compass. Oh, here's some more critters. What's this one? Oh, I'm lagging out a bit here. Oh, he's a feral pigsy. Oh, and we get some feral pigsy fur, which we're going to need, no doubt. Oh, I better drink a potion. Does a bit of nasty damage, that feral pigsy. And more flowers. As you can see, it doesn't matter that I have to keep drinking potions, because all these flowers I'm picking, I can turn into potions. And that's a lot of potions. But it looks like there's a lot of aggressive creatures over here between the ferals and the horn tusk pigsies. Um, but let's see what's going to attack us. There's one bubbling down there. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, a mossy leafy. <coughs> It was a mossy leafy, but now it is no more. Ah, what did we get? Mossy leafy... Oh, I'm getting hurt again. Cool, you've got to be careful with these critters. Right, let's show you these other ones that look like cockatrices. Is he going to attack me? No, leafy's not. I don't think leafy does, no. Well, let's try one of these bird-like creatures. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a mossy. So let's try a chizzard. Oh, yeah, they're good. They're not that tough. And they give us another unique item, a chizzard gizzard, which you just know makes sense to loot them. Another chizzard gizzard. And we're getting some flowers. All good. Yep, I'm going to hunt me some more. And another one. Let's drink a potion. Oh, load more flowers. What's this? Oh, vines. Oh, wow, yeah, so that's really cool. Get a load of vines. Oh, I like this biome with these vine tr trees. That's really rather cool. Oh, 
Oh, thought I'd just jumped down a massive hole then. Okay, let's see what else is in this biome. So there's that biome to the right, which looks different to this biome. This one's sort of a desert biome, whereas the one to the right is like some forest biome. Let's see how many of them flowers we've got now. <clears throat> oh wow, yeah, look, 99 of them. Nice. And I've got quite a few mushrooms. We're getting some good stuff. So you definitely know where to go if you want to get flowers. Not, uh, I mean, in the trees to start with, but you'll only get a few from the trees, sparsely spread out. Uh, you find this biome and your flower problem is over. And of course mushrooms are in abundance in the other biome. So that's you sorted for potions. Right, I think I have enough of these for now. Let's explore a bit more. Oh, here we go. Here comes trouble. Of course, I don't know if the items that these drop are worth this long fight. I mean, this boss hog tusk. Um, it's a shame we can't just sort of press a key to see what recipes it's used in. Hopefully it's for a good a good uh, item to make. Nice item. We will find out, I guess, eventually. it really quarter to eight already so it looks like we've come out of that biome back into a biome just like the one I started in and let's go over this way see what trouble we can get into Looks like a deranged rabbit, doesn't it? Or a cross between a rabbit and a mouse. I don't know. A bit weird, but never mind. Oh, I'm going to be attacked. I knew it. attack some more. <clears throat> yeah, they hit with some nasty dot damage over time. I don't know what it is, but it certainly does give some damage. plenty of vines and plenty of flowers and so it is as they say all good now I've just got to work out what these new items I've been getting oops there's the timer what these new items I've been getting like the chizzard gizzard are actually used for
grab a few more flowers and then head back. See, this looks like... Oh! Detritus. Detritus. And that unlocks something then by the looks of it. So let's grab up a bunch. Oh, and what's this? Oh, just more. Okay, let's press the L key, get a bit of light. And I better head back, because it's 10pm. Not that I'm scared of the creatures, but... Uh, the time has gone, so I guess I really ought to start heading back. Trouble is, there's honey nearby. Oh, and a new type of flower. I think I might collect a few of these, actually. Let's head up into the trees. Why not? Always nice to get some leaves. What does he drop? More chizzard gizzards, just what you'd expect, but we get two at least from them. Ah, oh, there's some flowers. I just knew there was going to be some. some honey. No, don't look like there's any honey. Yeah, let's go to that tree. Oh, look at that. Typical. Underneath the tree I was on, there was honey. lag going on there. Let's try that again. Oh, more flowers. <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. Hopefully, though, without the lag. So, we do the sea keys, so we crouch, and then we can walk right over the edge and place a bridge. 
we can walk backwards like this, just like we do in Minecraft. And then grab what we want. There we go, we got the honey. Right, let's head back with our spoils. Lots of flowers and mushrooms and all sorts. Right, okay, so back here you'll see I expanded the back just a little bit, make a bit more room, um, but I think that's what I wanted to show you in this episode, so I'll end the episode here. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you, and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.